Okay, after removing the control board, um, we need to know what is the IP address that um, the router is giving to the control board. We're going we're going to plug in the power LAN cable and plug it into the router. Okay. Power up. And now with the program like uh, thing you will need to find out the IP address. I'll go into a thing. Make sure I'm connected to the same router that I've plugged in the main board. This is gateway. This is the same net with the control board. Scan for devices. And we have end miner with the, this IP address. I can see the open ports. I could connect it with the browser in the phone. Root as username, root as password. And you can see we have its original firmware. Open the browser. On the board we have this jumper that needs to be moved here. You insert the SD card. And you start it.
wait until the IP address is given and you can connect to the control board. Remember the IP 192.168.1.100. As you can see, we don't have the initial screen from the original software firmware we enter root login it seems like uh, this is a new firmware in system I have install current system to device click here install are you sure okay operation succeeded please turn off the miner and change jumper to boot in from NAND okay now we turn off Remove the SD card, change the jumper, and restart. OK, root, enter. And the new firmware is installed. In minor, configuration ASIC boost for um, immersion cooling you will have to set the value to zero meaning minimum running fans set to zero hit save and apply if you leave it to one it won't work For those who don't know, uh, you can enter here your pool address, and here you ha you will have to put your username dot mm, the name of the worker, and then save and apply. That's all. You have to search the Wi-Fi in which the end miner is connected. Gateway in my case. I will scan for devices. The same IP address. I will select it. Find open ports. Open browser. Chrome. Okay. It shows me the original firmware. I hit refresh, and as you see. The firmware from Brains is currently running. Root as password. Login. This is a new firmware. I'm not used to it. Minor system. And you hit install current system to device. Click install. OK. Operation succeeded. Now we are going to power down.
ok minor configuration at pools you'll have to put your mm, pool address at uh, username you'll have to use your username from that pool dot the name of the miner um, lots of settings here temperature control I think that 89 100 110 it's a lot I use like 75 80 85 fan control you will have to see this for immersion cooling use the value zero if you are planning to dip your miner in mineral oil you will have to set this to zero and hit save and apply other settings okay save and apply that's all